Hey guys, happy Sunday. Welcome to the new and improved on Business Your Business Facebook group, formerly known as, we're going to leave that alone. You're probably wondering who I am. Well, I'm Marshall Stern. I've invited you or you've chosen to be in this group and I thank you. You're probably also wondering why I changed the name to Unbusiness Your Business and what Unbusiness Your Business actually means. So hang tight. In the coming days, weeks, we're going to delve right into it. Some of you may have already guessed and you've posted certain things. And I'd love for all of you to engage and post below what you think it means to unbusiness your business. But we're not going to get into too much of that right now because it's Sunday, it's the weekend. We're supposed to rest. But I want to welcome all the new members and I want to tell you that the reason behind the name change was more because I see so many business owners working so hard trying so many different things, being busy, being busy, trying all the different strategies and different systems. And I don't know about you, but I kind of, I kind of like the easy way. Not that there's an easy way, the easier way. It's the 80-20 rule. I kind of like it when we actually do the work that is needed to get done and get the, that gets the biggest results. That's, hey Jeanette, how are you doing? That's what gets the biggest results. Those are the things that we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about how by unbusinessing your business, which we're going to get to, will actually make a huge, huge difference, not only in your business, but in your life. So this is a group for business owners, entrepreneurs, and leaders. It is. And it's about business, but it's more than business. It's about life. And it's about how to on business our business and focus on the important things and become more human and become more authentic. See, there's too many mixed messages out there. There's too many experts out there. I'm not here to say I'm this big expert. Yeah, I've been in business for more than 30 years. I've had my sign graphic graphics company for more than 25 years now. So I've had some successes. I've had some failures. I've actually had three businesses, one failed miserably. And starting when I was 16, that was my first business. So I know what works, what doesn't work. But here's the thing, what if, just what if by focusing away from all the systems and strategies, okay, and focusing more on yourself, focusing more on what you want, as the business owner, as the business leader. What if that is what will propel your business? Because we can give you all the great systems and all the great strategies, and we'll talk about some as we go along eventually, but that's not what you need. In the most cases, that's not what any of us need. Because if we don't take ourselves out of the business, and really look at ourselves and what we want, we're not going to follow the systems and strategies that other people teach us. So I want you to think of your business in a different way. Yes, it's thought-provoking, Jeanette, absolutely. But I want it to be more than thought-provoking. I want it to be the way all of us start to really look at our business because we, we're so stuck looking at the bottom line or looking at the top line, looking at what, how much sales we can bring in or how many new customers, how we can close the customer. One thing I've loved, and I posted this before, about the pandemic, the, the time during the pandemic, is that we see people that are actually being authentic online because there's so many non, non-authentic, unauthentic people that it's really been refreshing seeing people on Zoom, you know, on uh, Google Hangouts that might be wearing a baseball cap, that, that might be just wearing a t-shirt. I don't know what else they're wearing, whatever, that's, that's up to them. But you know what I mean? Like it's, it's just, it's been refreshing. You know, I'm in a couple of mastermind groups and sometimes, you know, you know, one of them, there's kids running around in the background or my dog barks. Before, like in a boardroom, in a serious business meeting before COVID, we would have never accepted that. It'd be like, well, if they can't keep their kids or their dog under control, that's very unprofessional. This is what we need. And this is what we need to, un part of the thing we need to do to unbusiness our business 
if we really want to make a difference, if we really want to move forward, is we need to look at our self, what we want, what our needs are. It's time to be selfish. It's time to make sure that we're in line with our business. Or, excuse me, make sure our business is in line with us. And yes, a pink po polka dot fuzzy bathrobe is totally cool to Jeanette to have in a Zoom meeting. Nobody cares anymore, and I hope it stays that way. Now, if you have a meeting in a boardroom, that might be a little bit different, but right now it's accepted, so let's just go with it. And let's take this, take this time and take advantage of this time to show people who we really are. The filters are all gone in live videos. Yes, you can have pro professional videos done and you know, with a beautiful backdrop and, and a professional photographer and the editing or whatever. And hey, that's, I'm just here and, and my kids could run in any moment. The lighting's not very good. This is, I'm using my iPhone. It's okay. Let's just talk. So I want us to, in this group to get involved. This group in the previous years has been, it's been around two or three years. It was very quiet. I tried to post there, people weren't engaged. I want you to get engaged. If you're not happy in your business or where your business is at, think about unbusinessing your business. Come along for the ride. Stop staying on the sidelines and staying quiet. Get involved, be part of the conversation. You have a choice. You have a choice. There's other Facebook groups for you if you don't wanna be in this one. If you wanna go into another Facebook group that's only about strategy, go for it. But are you gonna follow it? I mean, if you look at my bookcase, my bookshelf, I didn't even clean it up. See, I'm just being very authentic. I don't know what's there, but there's courses, Experts Academy, there's all these different courses and whatever, and you know, I can open up my closet, I can open up my closet and show you the DVDs and the, and the cassette tapes. Cassette tapes I made to myself, um, audio programs that I've taken in the past. And guys, I just left, I just did a three-day virtual conference and it was intense it's three days of this i was exhausted on the weekend um and some of it was really good so uh damon johns was one of the what was he was the keynote speaker very good um pat flynn if you guys know who he is so michael burnoff who wrote um average sex which he was really really cool as well but the thing is it doesn't matter all the courses you take and the strategies you learn because if you are not the leader of yourself, if, you are, if your business is not in line with what you want, there's going to be a clash. And that's why when you unbusiness your business, and I kind of gave it away what it's all about, sort of, um, it makes a huge difference. It's cutting the bullshit. I think someone posted that yesterday. Cutting through all the bullshit, pardon my language, to get to what's really important. Now, yes, I know systems and strategies are important. Processes are important. The most important thing, though, the one thing is people. It's people and it starts with you. So that's enough for me rambling on today. I'm going to come to you live throughout the week and throughout the weeks, but I want a conversation. I want you guys to give me feedback. If you disagree with something I say, tell me. I'm going to start training. I'm going to start teaching, but I want to engage you guys. I don't want it just to be one way. That's not what I'm here for. I want communication. I want conversation. If you guys want to see something or learn something or you disagree with something, tell me. Call me out on it. Everything's on the, on the table right now. Okay? Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. And remember, oh, one more thing. If you guys know, here's the thing. If you guys know of any other business owner or entrepreneur, because there's a difference, we'll talk about that. But if you guys know of any other business owner or entrepreneur who might just not be where they're at in their business, happy where they're at in their business. I know with the pandemic and it's changed with everyone, but we're going to focus on the positive. If you know of other people who are kind of stuck, invite them to join, you, join us in here. Check it out. You can leave whenever you want. There's going to be lots of things. If you guys want to get coached one-on-one -on -one live, let me know. We're going to be doing that. Okay. If you guys want to reach out and you want to book a uh, no obligation, just a strategy session, 
an unbusiness your business session with me, do that. But for now, get engaged, post below, enjoy the rest of your Sunday. That's it for me. I'm out. Take care. And thanks for watching.